welcome back to Recipes Mania. Crystal let me come hang out with her today and do a recipe. She wants to call it Busy Beans and Rice. Thanks for having me, kiddo. As if I would miss this opportunity. Yeah, right. Got some extra time now to come hang out again. I missed you. I missed you too. Oh, and yesterday was Rachel's birthday, so yay! I turned 29 again. <laughs> Very funny. Okay. All right, where do we start? We've got some white rice that you had pre-cooked, got some sharp cheddar cheese, a couple cans of Bush's refried beans, a couple jalapenos I chopped up, and some pepper jack cheeses. Okay, so you're gonna take that rice, okay, and you're gonna layer all of that on the bottom of the casserole dish. on the bottom. Alrighty. What are we putting in So next? then we're going to spread that out. Okay. That's nice and layered and even. Now we are going to take those two cans of refried beans. Do you want both of them in at the same time? Yes ma'am. And do you want it mixed in with the rice or are we layering? Layering. to do my best to layer because the beans want to stick to the rice. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Okay, we're not professionals or perfectionists. As long as it tastes good, right? Yeah. So this is not going to be a recipe that Renee is going to want, correct? Oh, no. Renee doesn't like the spicy stuff. And you know why. I love Renee to death, but no as far as spicy stuff. As far as spicy. But you know what? Speaking of spicy stuff, my sister is getting better with the spice. Oh, I'm yeah? I'll tell you what. She's actually getting better than me the last time. She's getting brave. Yeah. The well, last... that's good. Spicy's good. Yeah. The last time we were together, she could actually handle more spice than me, and that's uh -oh. it. You got, you got some practice. Well, this will make a good practice run for you. All right, so we got the beans layered on top of the rice. You want to do the jalapenos next? Yes, ma'am. All right. I diced them up pretty, pretty fine, wearing gloves this time. I didn't want to make the same mistake I made once before. Oh, I remember that. Got some jalapeno in my eye, and it didn't feel very good. And you know what else she did one time? She forgot to take out the speed. Made it a little, little extra spicy. Hoo-wee. All right, so we've got the sharp cheddar and the Cheez-Its. What's next? The Cheez-Its go next. Okay, so there's about a quarter of a, quarter of a bag left, and we crunched those up. All right, those are nice and spread out. And the last but best ingredient? Cheddar cheese, baby. How much of the cheddar cheese do you want me to put on? Thick layer, baby. Thick layer. This is always the best part of any recipe. I know, right? It's my favorite. Cheddar cheese is a staple in my house at all times. <laughs> Don't I know it. <laughs> all right. Is that good or you want a little more? Nope. That's perfect. All right. So we used almost the entire bag. There's about a quarter of the eight ounce bag left. All right, so here's what it looks like all ready to go. Now, what would you like me to do with it? Now, um, we'll be back in a few minutes because we forgot to preheat the oven, but we are gonna preheat the oven to- do um, 350? 350, yeah. I'm thinking because it's kind of a thick layer, maybe half an hour? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll show you when it's all done. Okay. 